previously on Bell Collective. I look on Instagram, here's Latrice with a brand new property with another agent. See that knife in my bag? Yeah. She's a snake. When it came down to it, I didn't have a building. Gucci is giving fraud. I'm thinking about getting my own place. That's crazy. I do not see us getting back together until he really starts to look at the issues inside. You just like contaminated water from Jax. We have a water crisis on our hand, and I've invited Josh to reside with me. We got to get Josh out of here before I snap. If you go to M Bar, you tell me you're going to Me and my girl Amanda decided last minute to come to M Bar, and Zaddy storms in, and he's completely mad about something that he felt like I lied about. pulled up on me because I may have forgotten to tell him that I was going out for drinks with Amanda. Girl. Ooh. Honey. The man's must still got your location. He definitely has my location, girl. With my husband next to me, I feel like a kid at a school dance with my parents chaperoning. That's the that pisses me off. Like, he. He, I, I don't know what it is. Like, he always assumes that I'm doing something. He always has to pop up on me and make a thing. You not his child. He'll stop popping up when you put your foot down. Everything still stems from childhood because my father was aggressive to my mother. Growing up with my father and seeing his aggressiveness has definitely developed me into the woman that I am today. I tend to take a lot from men that I shouldn't because my mom, she was a strong woman, but she felt like me, like marriage is everything, and to death do us part. And that's what I do with my husband. I love him wholeheartedly, and I always tend to put up with stuff that the normal person probably wouldn't. Hello? What you mean? Oh, what's up? Nothing. What's going on? I see Cliff. <laughs> hey. Hey, 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 recording, baby. Oh, you're not, you uh -huh. oh. oh, he mad at you, don't worry so about So you, you're mad at me? My husband is on your ass, honey. You literally banned from the house. This is ridiculous. Josh, but you know how he is. Why are you whispering? I thought he won't hear me. What happened? She didn't tell him that we was coming here, so he popped up on us. Before Latrice met Cliff, she was just this vibrant person, you know? She was fun, down for whatever, and... Now that she's with Cliff, like, can she go anywhere without you pretty much babysitting her? This is not the girl that I knew. So my whole thing is, yeah, I, I don't yeah, know, you, you. Should, you should be tired of this Um, wait a minute. Child, don't talk for a while, honey. My husband here. Cliff literally moved from standing over us to now he's in a section with this random ass guy. I don't even think he knows the guy. I think he's just over here talking to the guy and just really trying to really get a closer view and a closer ear so that he can eavesdrop on the conversation that we're having. Honestly, it's not healthy. Again, he wants. I feel like he wants to keep you at this one level. So you won't be above him. him. So right now I'm feeling a little conflicted because my friends are telling me that Zaddy is controlling and I'm, I want to look at it like he's being protective, but right now it doesn't feel that way. After Zaddy's behavior tonight, I can tell you things has definitely got to change. I can't continue to go through life with my husband being overprotective. So let's go. Let's just go before he see us leaving and yeah. hopefully we can make a sweet escape. Oh, you want a little bit more? Okay. And, and I bought some. I got you some more. Um, they're called Heavenly Hunks. Who? Heavenly Hunks. Heavenly. Heavenly Hunks, like you. Look, but they're oatmeal, 
uh, organic oatmeal chunks. And I got some blueberries, so we can kind of sip on that if you like. With the chocolate and the cheese mm -mm. and the... It's healthy here, we know. The only thing we're going to drink unhealthy is this wine. Boy, that's what I'm telling you. That's the reason I try to grab a <laughs> goddamn burger every chance I get. Like, goddamn, you screw like a rabbit, you might well eat like one, too. I said, well, damn, I, I drink to that. Well, let's toast to that. You a mess. Oh, look at my... Oh, oh look shoot, at, now. Look at that. That's going daddy baby. Hey, look daddy at that. Baby. Daddy babies. Hey. Mm -hmm. What's going on? Hey. D and Star is coming by today, and D is bringing baby Ari. I haven't seen them in a while, so I'm kind of excited to kind of get as much glam mom time in as possible. Since Star got pregnant, things has been awkward between us. I found out my daughter was married and about to have this baby on social media. Well, I haven't said nothing to Star about how it hurt my feelings yet, but I try to keep things cordial where, you know, it's between whatever she got going on with her mommy and, and everything. I don't want to get in between that. But I got to let her know how I feel today. I cannot believe that you guys are to be mother mm -hmm. and mom. But well, they've been oh, around goodness. each other for the longest. It seems right. like everything go on oh, with right. one of them, go on with the other one. <laughs> and one scared of the dog, the other one's scared of the dog. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I, then the baby's going to be playmate, right. cousin. What you hang yeah. around, what you become. They're not gonna be cousins, Mom. What they gonna be? They will be cousins. No, they won't. Wait. Wait, I'm gonna do it wrong. No, that's messed up. Wait a minute. I don't want to know. Look at Ari, like, Mom, we are gonna be cousins. It's kind of giving me a little fuzzy feeling to see the girls. They're really bonding. And I, I was very glad to see that, you know, because the girls were on a rough start. Um, it got heated for a while. Before we became teenagers, we were good. When no, we hit, I like, 12, you disagree? I disagree. I literally felt like a kid that was being bullied at home. Y'all were mean as hell. We were on the path to healing, and now that they have something in common, you know, they talk more. Y'all have matured a lot, and I like how y'all taking responsibility on your own. You're handling your business. Mm -hmm. Took them a minute now. But you know what, Star? I'm still mad about this, so <laughs> I need to go talk to her a little bit about this. Come on. Little itch, little I'm itch still... wine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's, let's go talk about this right quick. <laughs> I was married to my ex, Selena, for 12 years. I think we separated after about five years. I think my ex, she was in the plan with everything. They told me mama didn't have nothing to do with this. Yeah, okay. And to be honest with you, I wouldn't be surprised if she was dead when they got married and I just don't know about it. Matter of fact, she the one instigates a lot of stuff. It's because she's jealous of my wife, so Gucci. My ex always be in love with me. We have kids, we have children together. So of course, it's gonna always be love there. Because one thing about a person, when you're good to a person, you don't realize how good that person is until they're gone. And I have always been good to her. It seems like daddy always the one to find out last. Mm -hmm. Don't daddy supposed to be involved? Don't he supposed yeah. to come say, look here, Mr. Williams, how you doing? I'm in love with your daughter, Star, mm -hmm. and I would like it if you give me your permission to marry your daughter. Mm -hmm. That's what daddy expect. That's how I raise y'all. So how did it go underhanded where it, I, it, you jumped the broom and daddy got done and wouldn't even include it? Well, to... that was on me. That okay. was, he wanted to, but that was on me because I didn't know how you was gonna respond or react. So, like, it can be hard to talk to you. Every dad would love to walk their daughter down the aisle. That's one thing that I really feel bad about because I felt like I was robbed of doing that. But it's going to be real fun playing the grandparents' role, got done it, and, and, you know, uh, basically walking and enjoying this journey. The only thing got done that daddy really like about the situation, and I guess that's God doing that, is you giving me a grandson, which I ain't never had no son. Mm -hmm. I need that in my life, cause that's what I ain't never had. So the thing is, you, you gonna name him Samaj? No. <laughs> huh? He's that's gonna... James spelled backwards. You ain't got a name about exactly the dad. That James spelled backwards. No, Samaj. he's gonna be a junior. He's gonna I be, be Airplane Junior. Jay really was upset when he found out that Star was pregnant, and it shocked me because he really was on you hard. Yeah, I feel like their relationship, they can't really talk to him because he's controlling and he wants them to be perfect, and he probably was more so embarrassed about the world knowing about, 
you know, you can't hide it forever. God literally turned the tables to where we could look at each other as one. Like, we're all the same, we're a family, so it's like, he made it happen. I'm just like, wow. So we'll just see how things go with the baby shower. I still feel a little weird because Sky and Sanjay expressed um, a lot of things that they were feeling about me. They said that somebody, someone was telling their mom that I was talking about their mom or something like that and it made them feel a certain way about me. Over the summer, Jay's ex-wife, she tried to poison the girls. She tried to talk bad against me to the girls and get the girls to not like me. Their mom said that Gucci is saying things about me in the streets. Gucci is saying this and that. And I'm not saying not one thing about her. The girls and I are in a great place, but Jay's ex is always trying to get in their head and turn them against me. So I'm going there to support, you know, I'm going in with positive energy, positive vibes, and hopefully it turn out to be a great baby shower. I know Selena's gonna have it decked out really nice. Jay's ex-wife is getting ready to host Star's baby shower. I don't pay her much attention, you know, she's just like watching paint dry on the wall. Oh. So what do you want to be called, granddaddy? You, hey, don't play. <laughs> I'm just asking. You, 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 I no, mean... you being funny, Grandma. <laughs> no. What's the baby Papa gonna call Jay. you? Papa J. Papa J. Papa J. Granddad. Papa J. Papa J. I'm a granddad, granddaddy. Yeah. I see y'all at the baby shower. I'm finna go work out dinner with my only boy, Dez. <laughs> I'm I'll coming, baby. Don't you need some attention? If I'm Look, gonna get kids some. Running some bad water. <laughs> Granddaddy. I see why we got this goddamn <laughs> pool and lake. Goddamn, God, we're gonna have a pool full of grandkids. Right. Exactly. Yeah, I got that right. Woo. He's gonna be Island, a swimmer. He's coming right. in the water. Goddamn, popsicle stains on the shirt. Coming up. Homecoming at Jackson State University is much more than a football game. You have the bells here? Or? I'm here all the time. You are when I sing. He literally was saying disrespectful things, calling me out of my name. It's just, I don't like that space he put me in. I didn't know you was invited, Tris. <laughs> yes, honey, I am here. Okay. And I got a bone to pick with you, too. Like, what is it? What is your issue with me? If you can't take the shade, you don't need to be in the room. Jackson State University is much more than a football game. They have the DJ, they have the bar set up, they have everything. So today I am actually hosting a tailgate. My manager, Kwasi, is the one who actually set the hosting the tailgate up. So he's he's always with me. Is it always crazy like this? It was always, it's always been like this. This might be the biggest homecoming though. It's always been. We've seen. Like this is what it's about, it's a celebration. I stopped by the radio station, you know, just to chop it up with Tambra, and she invited me to the tailgate. You're coming to the game. Mm -hmm. You're gonna come to the homecoming, the um, tailgate I'm, ho I'm hosting. I'm invited, of course. Of course. Let me tell you something. One hey. thing about you, you're always invited. I don't invite the girls. I didn't invite everybody to come out. The other bells here? Or? I do all the time. You own what I sing. Really? Yes. You know, the other bells in Tambra, you know, are not in a place where they need to be attending her events right now. She's still really upset with Tambra for all the lying at the reunion. Yeah, I haven't seen anyone even coming into the stadium. I haven't seen anybody. I did not get an invite to attend Tambra's tailgate party, but it's cool. I mean, I wouldn't have attended it anyway. And trust and believe, baby, there's not a lack in invite requests. So I didn't get an invite to Tambra's tailgate. You know, it's okay with me, honey. One thing about it, when Latrice is on the scene, honey, that is the scene. So your tailgate, I'm pretty sure it's not gonna be much. No one wants to attend Tambra's party because Tambra keeps lying. Do I have plans? No. I'm just not going. Have you seen any other girls? I haven't seen anybody. And there's so many people out here. I know. <laughs> Way over there. You know Quasi okay, over there. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna actually tell you. Oh. <laughs> Come here. You. <laughs> I said, I've never met him, Tammy. This is my first time meeting Quasi, and I just wanna know who is this man that's always around Tambra? Quasi, Sophia, nice so to meet you. I've seen you, but I've never actually <laughs> met you. Indeed, <laughs> hey, this is her daughter. Hey, daughter. Nice to meet you. Yes. So this this is her first time coming. Oh. Yeah. Happy homecoming. She blown away. She's like, oh Happy my goodness. Homecoming. I'm thinking Quasi is her manager. 
Or, you know, I don't know. And so I'm trying to fill it out. So she said, have you met Kwanzaa before? I'm like, no, I've seen them everywhere you go. Hmm. I wonder why the mind didn't go. Maybe he's here at another tailgate. Girl, he ain't in another tailgate. I'm not surprised that Damon is not here with Tamara. I never see her and Damon together. All these people here in the bell not here? She did say she invited the girl. They didn't show up. So that's kind of abnormal, you know. I mean, it's homecoming, like, that's weird. Yeah, they should have been here. You know, to support her. I'm, I don't think she's in a good position with the other bell. I'm really not surprised that the other bells are there for Tamara. I mean, Tamara been doing a lot of line. And the only reason why I showed up, because I like a good football game. Yeah, Gucci gonna go to a good football game anyway. They are mad. They're yeah, they're, they're mad at her ass. So Tamara needs to sit down and maybe have another sister benching. Not call it that. I don't know, but she need to have I'm a I'm just gonna be there watching. Damn. Never in my life will take my shine. Nope, this is my time. My own mind will never in my life. Take my shot. This is my time. Oh, it's my own What's up with your favorite bar? What's up, Jay? Ain't nothing like nature, baby. Ain't nothing like nature. I got some deer jerkies right here for you. Tell me what you think. Finally here today at Cliff House. And I bought Cliff some deer jerkies because he allowed me to hunt on his land. Glad he went out there. He, I might have mistaken him for the damn deer. But other than that, I just wanted to be respectful and show him I appreciate him. You like that? I know it. Oh, yeah, it's good. What else been going on? Man, let me tell you. Well, Gucci got dirty man. Man, you know how them women is about that got dirty money. So Gucci was sitting there, you know, trying to show Latrice got dirty, you know, a building. And all of a sudden, I think she closed with somebody else. Gucci approached her about the building. But this other realtor found the building and everything. So that's the reason she closed. And Gucci got offended by that. And my wife said, hey, I know it's business. I understand. I said, business, you got to do what? Make your business roll. If Gucci didn't go hard enough to get the building you want, just to really brought it, you got to close the up, you know what I'm saying? Latrice been problems ever since got done. I can recall got done it. She got done and had a problem with Marie. Then you got done acting like you want to close the deal with so Gucci. It just seemed like everything got done that Latrice got going on is always some type of conflict and confusion. What's up, player? What the fuck? What the hell? What's going on, man? Baby, boy, what you got? Hey. You don't came, got done it, I'm did back. the darn thing, oh, you back. I'm back on land. Yes, sir. Back on land. Clifford, I'm oh, honored to be invited to the council. Sit on over oh, here, man. got done. Get a little closer, eat some of these got done deer jerkers I went out there in the woods and got. Deer jerkers? You deer jerkers, baby. I know you, you probably ain't got to cook this first, bro? Uh, it's already processed, sure? got done it. You good. Just sitting here discussing, got done it. Cliff got done it. Latrice did so Gucci wrong. But I don't think my wife did Gucci wrong. Yeah, yeah Cliff White did, it, so Gucci but wrong. But if your business is right, Gucci did a set from but not signed the contract. You said, Gucci was showing up buildings. Another okay. realtor come up and said, I found the building. Gucci didn't bring the building. So okay. my wife chose this girl when she closed the building, when she got to make money. My wife, th that's business. They're not, friendship don't come from business. Business is business. Gucci wasn't so Gucci on that deal. <laughs> but that's all right. <laughs> So why are you telling the guys about what happened with you and Latrice at M-Bar? Because it was a private conversation and you was eavesdropping. So, Glenn, without all that boo what's going on with you and got darn t -shirt? If she happy, you good. If she's not happy, you got problems. I don't I don't know how happy she is right now, man. I heard that she's, she's looking for a spot to live, like a condo. Yeah, that's a bad sign, man. Am I holding on to something that's, that's really dead? Like, you know, I don't want to give up but it seemed like I'm not making any progress at all. We were still in a weird place even after the DNA test. I, I've been trying to reach my wife's attention for a long time, so I really don't know what else to do. I just pray I'm not holding on to false hope. I'm giving it, and if she's not receiving it, then what are we doing? And did she tell you to move on, you need to move on. Simple as that. So look here, Cliff. You and Latrice going to Star's baby shower. My ex-wife is throwing it. When I met her, I ain't know she was married. She ain't tell me she's married. What hey, about the, man, the, the, the man, ring? Man. Even she, when you take the ring off, she, she still got a put on. They only been married two weeks when I met her. Man, she, she, told me it was a, she told me it was a forced marriage because she got pregnant when she, she married JJ. Hell, I didn't even know got done it by Cliff. Got done it until got done it. Uh, the, the, the streets started bringing it up. They just used to say, my, my ex uh, sleep. Uh, with this tree guy. If I see a sign on the truck saying tree sir, I'm sitting there saying, is that him? You and he ain't need no tree, tree cut, I tell you that. Never <laughs> 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 I didn't even know he was a damn tree, man. <laughs> hey, can I ask one question? 
When you found out, did you stop? I can answer that, Your Honor. <laughs> no, no, he did not stop. This man paying for the cow, but you drinking the milk. Ain't that the goddamn truth? Guilty, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm Hello. Hi, Joshua. I'm here at Goddess Lens today because, honestly, I want to check on Josh since the whole M-Bar situation. The whole situation was a little absurd and out of the ordinary because that's normally not my husband. Ever since Goddess Lens has picked up attention, Zaddy has been way too overprotective. I know he means well, but he needs to trust me in order for our marriage to work. Trust is everything when it comes to any relationship, and right now, we don't have it. Why do you have this on in the rain? I'm a statement. OK. Beyonce's in town, honey, so am I. If you want to keep going with that, then that's fine. <laughs> Josh didn't hear anything that my husband said about him in the parking lot, but I definitely made him aware because I think that it's important for him to know exactly how my husband feels, regardless if I agree with it or not, which in this case, I don't agree with anything my husband said. But Josh being my friend, he should know exactly what's going on. And I just want to make sure everything is good with him, figure out where we are and where do we go from here. Last time I saw you, you were a little upset from, you know, you and my husband. I mean, why wouldn't I be upset? He literally was pointing, saying disrespectful things, calling me out of my name. <laughs> I mean, I don't even know where I stand as far as our friendship, as far as even, like, work environment. Like, am I secure here? Because I feel like whatever he say, says goes. Me knowing Therese, I have a lot of faith in her because even though she does listen to Cliff a lot, she knows what's good for her business. And losing me is going to be one thing that I know that is going to be hard for her to replace. No, that's definitely not the case. For one, I'm my own woman. You know, I walk in my own shoes. Nobody dictates or tell me how to run my business, especially when you're not putting anything into it financially. Now, the whole situation with you and my husband, like, I will apologize on his behalf. He was angry because... But he shouldn't have been there. Mm. And I, I definitely understand, Josh, and I don't want you to feel a certain type of way because of my husband. And I understand there are certain issues that I do have to work on with him. And I want you to continue to be in my life. Like, you know, I don't want this whole thing with my husband and you to, you know, just go left and you feel like I'm not there for you because I'm always here for you. I've always been there for you. And I know and I that, but will. it's just, in that moment, I didn't I want to overreact, but it's just, I don't like that space he put me in. And I don't feel like you should keep having to deal with that and keep taking up for him. Josh, at the end of the day, like, you know, like I always say, I do love you, and that's my husband, so I have to be for my husband and with my husband. And I'm trying to figure out, like, how that looks to be a great friend and also be a great wife when you guys are at odds. Well, it doesn't make you like a good friend, because anyway, during the whole thing, I, you didn't say anything, and either, the, like, the next day, you didn't even reach out to me. Sometimes I feel like if I don't say anything, then, you know, life gets better. Being in the middle of Josh and Zaddy's drama is completely nerve-wracking. I love both of them, but it just put me in a difficult situation, and I don't like it. I just feel as if, you know, sometimes when you tell me certain things, I do feel a type of way. It's like you crying out for help and then you go back on it. It's not that I'm crying out for help and I go back on it. I'm venting to my friend. I just don't want to deal with the whole cliff and tree situation anymore. Now that I'm living with Trees, I see more that Latrice is so submissive to Cliff, and I think I just need to get myself out of Latrice and Cliff's business, because at this point, of course, it's gonna be marriage before Joshi. I'm gonna be here for you as much as I can, but as far as when it comes to your marital issues, I don't want to, I don't wanna, I don't wanna deal with it. Coming up. I'm not playing no type of game. The girl is a snake in the grass. I she mean, stabs you in your back. 
She is not your friend. Jay's ex, Star's mom, is hosting the baby shower. If you're gonna do this baby shower, honey, you might as well do it right. Get some water, Selena. I don't have a bottle of water, I have the egg. Get some lemonade, yeah. honey. <laughs> it, it magic. <laughs> all the girls to the boot camp. It's 112 degrees outside. You know what, you actually burn more calories outside when it's hot. Babe, my damn ponytail <laughs> was sweating. It felt like a damn horse just swinging sweat. So how did you like the uh, tailgate, D? Girl, when I say I'm not missing another one. We just had fun. I met, uh, what's his name, her manager name? What's his Quasi. name? Quasi. Quasi. Of course, him and Tamara showed up together, and I don't know about her manager. They look like her man. You what? Think? What? Yeah. She like, Hey, Gucci, this is Quasi. You know, she got all bubbly eyes and things. I'm like, OK. Hold on, hold on. You think it's a conspiracy behind all that? I don't know. You know, Tamara might have some little things going on. It could be her boo. You know, she's not married. She can't have two boo-boos. <laughs> <laughs> today about So Gucci's workout and I wanted to make sure that I did come and support because she did come to the tailgate and support me hosting. So I am here for her today. I invited all the girls. We're gonna see who's gonna show up, you know. Well, it's probably gonna be me, Tamara, Marie, and Letitia. And I know Akeisha ass is not about that damn fitness. She's like, hell no, she's still over there eating them pig sandwiches. So my girl is not finna attend this damn boot camp. Latrice, I don't know. Latrice kind of not on my good list this time. She what? did. I was looking for a commercial property for her, and all of a sudden, bam, Latrice closed on a 4,000 square foot building with another she did. agent. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that, you didn't sell that property? No, I did. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. I'm work her ass out today. I she show you, up. Look, don't work me too <laughs> hard, then, because I'm going to be over here trying to struggle on today. I decided to be the bigger woman and invite Latrice to my event. You know, that's what Gucci do. You know, I try to get everybody together, and we'll deal with our little issue a little later. But today, baby, we finna burn some calories. Woo! Hi, Gucci! Look at him! Hi, Hi. look at you! So Gucci is my girl. I'm all about women empowerment, women supporting women. So I'm expecting to see all the bells today, but I really don't know what to think about Tambra's lies. All I know is that she wants to be perfect Patty. Period. So listen, Gucci, I had to Google what to bring to yoga. Now we doing boot camp today. So this not, wait, boot camp? Like yeah. train, like jump and dancing and yo, what I you mean, do to fitness? You got your wig on tight and your lashes on glued on good, girl. We about to do something. Now, Gucci, I thought we were doing yoga. <laughs> it's called Dirty 30. We got 30 minutes to get these calories burned. It's not going to be that bad, I promise. You said yoga. So I go out, I get a yoga suit, I go get a yoga mat, I Google everything that I need. Boot camp sounds hard. I mean, so Gucci should have prepared me with a little one-on-one -on -one before we got here, and I hate it here. Okay, we're gonna start. I got my regulars right here. They're gonna show you how to step in. We call them panties. Hold on. We gotta use our knees, Letitia. What are the bells, baby? They're late for class. Of course, if we, was, if we had alcohol, they'll be on time. I'm about to get started with my boot camp, but naturally, we're missing some of the ladies. I don't see Latrice, I don't see Marie. You know what, it might be a good thing, you know, because we're trying to protect our peace today, and when those two in the same room, no peace is protected. Let's go. One, Ooh. two, three, four, five. Good job, I see those booties coming up already. I see those glutes, baby, that's what we're here for. Band. Of course, let's get Josh to stretch 
band. Y'all trying to waste my time. Don't punish Can everybody. Trace need a band. If y'all was on time. Huh, we one. are here, honey. Thank you, Josh. So, Gucci, you have an issue with me showing up late. You should be happy that I'm here today. I wasn't in any rush to get to the boot camp because, honestly, I didn't want to see any of the girls. They make an issue out of anything that I do, and I can't understand why. If y'all was on time... Girl, we one. are here, honey. Thank you, Josh. Latrice, you're not gonna make a mockery out of my boot camp, so fall in line, sis. So Gucci just wake up and I think that she likes torturing people. And not to mention, we're in the Mississippi heat. It's hot. I have a lace glue running. I just I don't want to be here. One, two, three. Hold on to grace and mercy, Leticia. <laughs> have you seen these girls? I mean, they don't do jumping jacks, boo. Not that kind. I know I'm late, but I'm here to support So Gucci better late than never. I am not excited to see that lying ass Tamara and that snake ass Latrice. Period. Yeah, I said it. Marie Monroe oh, is here. Marie, Marie Monroe, Marie. 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 Marie literally shows up 16 hours later than I showed up. And Gucci, you want to embrace her like, hi, Maro. I definitely think Marie needs to be the first person here because Marie don't act like you work out. The BBL was definitely BBLing. Let's go. Let's... All right, we're going to punch side to side. Okay, this is a cool down session. Easy, man, like you're punching your enemy. Everyone enjoyed the workout, and I didn't don't think they was expect, you know, them they was gonna burn that many calories. Amazing oh, event. <laughs> Thank you, love. I'll talk to you, you later. My event wasn't the time to get things resolved with Latrice, you know. I don't want to give off that negative energy today with the collective, so Latrice, we'll talk later. You didn't come to the tailgate yesterday. And you always show up. I know. You show I up know. to everything. Usually Marie shows up to my events. But I could feel a little shade and tension going on in that very moment. So, you know, I didn't come because I was kind of, it was just, I just been feeling like you're doing too much. The reason why I didn't go to Tamara's tailgate because I had other plans. And I think Tamara, she moving foul. Like, Tamara has a way of manipulating every situation. But I could not complete my sentence with Tamara because here come little puppet eavesdropping, making herself privy to a conversation that I'm trying to have with somebody else. No, ma'am. I don't I, have her. You know what? Let, let's, let's, let's postpone this. Let's, let's talk about this after you all finish this conversation with her. I'm going to excuse myself. What conversation? Latrice comes up in Marie. She just walks off. I'm not playing them type of games. Like, I'm not a toy. I'm not playing that game. I refuse to have any conversation around Latrice, period. Especially what she did to So Gucci. The girl is a snake in the grass. I she mean... stabbed you in your back. Mm -hmm. I told Latisha, she is not your friend. Oh, it's because you came over here. Girl, I don't care. Oh, I was like, what happened? No. <laughs> Honestly, I don't give a damn what Marie has to say about me, what she thinks about me. I can't entertain what she has going on. You didn't come to the tailgate yesterday. Teresa didn't come. You asked me why did not I come to the tailgate. Yeah, I, just, I just said I invited everybody to the tailgate. No. Um, I didn't get an invite to the tailgate. All I know is Marie said that you called her and asked her about the tailgate. But you didn't call me, so I didn't know nothing about the tailgate. Yeah, I didn't know I had to call everybody individually. Honestly, when I invited So Gucci, I was expecting So Gucci to just tell everyone. This is gonna be a good time. It's gonna be a good time. But I invited the girls. I invited everybody to come out. Like for oh, sure. Really? You know me. I'm always gonna invite people That's out. That's right. But I don't know if she relate the message or not.
You know, I'm going to invite everybody to everything. I'm a host. I'm going to always invite you. You invited to everything. everything. But you called Marie, so what no. was different? No, and you Marie called, called Gucci me. as well. Gucci came to the radio station. She did an interview with me. Okay, so now, this I will she say this. I was nervous about inviting Marie and you in the same place. Oh, okay, so you, cho you chose Marie to invite Marie. No, Marie didn't even come. I've been working. I've been hosting. You know something? When you get busy, the devil tries to distract you. We're all booked and busy. But as bells, we show up for each other. We do. So we and I just been feeling like I didn't Tampa, show we up. Sit, we sit on our phones. So ain't nobody that booked and busy where you can't reply. You guys have made it known that you guys feel a certain type of way. Yeah, I'm not coming not cool. and I'm not showing up. So I can tell you, I will try my best because my platform is always supporting women. I really don't know what to make of Tambra's lives, and I'm definitely tired of playing, you know, connect the dots. And I'm so over it. It's cool. Uh, yeah, Let me go because I don't want cool. the dark skinned girl being aggressive. Who said she is aggressive? I did not know Tisha felt that way. Baby shower, and she's having a boy. Yes, finally got my boy all having all these girls, so I am super excited. Jay's ex, Star's mom, is hosting the baby shower, and she knows that Jay and I are coming, so she knows what she gotta go overboard to make this look good. I'm gonna give you this stack right here. Uh, ooh. All right, daddy, baby. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Anytime, get us a baby. Picture. Boy. Take care of my baby girl. We here to support. <laughs> Daddy baby star. It's all about her, you know, baby shower today. I'm letting her know that I care about her, I care about the baby, and, you know, I want us to continue to heal, you know, this blended family. Hi. I'm excited to be here because Selena is my girl. My relationship with Selena started years back. Selena and the girls were actually my first supporters when it came to my business. I'll forever be grateful for that. You and Cliff seem to be on good terms since your argument at Embar. What happened? No, girl, next question. Girl, I miss you. It's been, what, like two weeks, three weeks? Two weeks. <laughs> Hi. I have known Selena for a number of years. I actually worked with Selena on a television show before, and that's where I actually know her, all of the girls. So I'm very familiar with them. Thank you. You look super cute. Oh, Thank pretty you. in here. I noticed there wasn't much interaction with So Gucci in Latrice. We are at a baby shower, so I am hoping there is no drama going on today. What a look, what a food is. Get some water, Selena. I don't have a bottle of water. I have the, I'm gonna have to pour you some. Okay. I get one. But I got the. Oh, juice? Okay. Get some lemonade, yeah. honey. It, it matches. <laughs> That's what I do. You did something right, girl. I always, I always do something right, honey. Every day, all day. <laughs> Is this the typical saloon? Yeah, I spoke. She got a lot of things to do when ready, really. This party is really unorganized. The food wasn't out, but she had Star sitting up there with her husband. You know, with Gucci, you know, wouldn't have her kids sitting in lawn chairs. She had them sitting in lawn chairs. I had my baby sitting in a king and queen chair. If you're gonna do this baby shower, honey, you might as well do it right. I mean, one thing about my ex, she always late for everything. Selena was eight years late to my divorce, so what you expect? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> OK, listen up, everybody. You better get ready to play this game. I'm cheating. <laughs> yep, yep. On the average of a newborn stomach is the size of a, what, hazelnut, apple, peach, or kiwi. See, I used to hate this in school because I never won the candy. I could never get the prize. You know I'm getting on Google. Tamara, you should have knew everything on here, girl. You know, you've been researching oh, eggs. That, that, that look, that's look, some eggs. How, how I don't know, know eggs, though. I don't know nothing about no babies. Rita been busting it open raw, honey. <laughs> <laughs> I am not that good at these baby games. And it shows. I am struggling. Look, I love babies, though. Don't know that much about them, but I love them. Oh, wait, that's the photo booth. I didn't know you was invited, Trish. <laughs> Girl, you know I love 
Selena. But yes, honey, I am here. Okay. You, knew I, you knew I was gonna be here. I didn't know you was coming, baby. Mm-hmm. Gucci shouldn't be feeling any type of way. And if she has an issue with me being friends with Selena, it's not my fault that your husband is still in love with his ex-wife. That's a you problem. My husband is completely in love with me. So maybe you need to go back to the drawing board and figure out what you're doing wrong. Maybe them exercises are not working, honey. You need to do some Kegels or something. I'm surprised you here. And I got a buy on the pick with your toe. I need to get your ear for a minute. Let's go outside. Girl, why I got this cup and we got no drink? This baby shower has barely kicked off and I'm already feeling some tension with Gucci. I don't need all this. Like, what is it? What is your issue with me? I brought you into this collective, girl. I made you. Well, Latrice, you stay I'm in my <laughs> that. I'ma say what's on my mind. I'm not gonna hold back. And if you can't take the shade, you don't need to be in the room. Next on, Bell Collective. I got a right to be mad. Patrice closed on a 4,000 square foot building with another agent. <laughs> that was really foul. I don't have to tell you anything that I'm doing. I'm a grown ass woman. I'm seeing way more of how Cliff actually is. With Latrice? The way he treats her is just kind of like, it's too much for me. I promise you, I don't remember saying anything like that to tell you, please exclude this girl from a, a group message. I don't remember that. Wet side ham, we see straight through the lies. Like, stop. Why you stalking her? I'm stalking. Yeah, you stalking her. I'm a her. husband. Just stop. 